This is a demo to show how a clock-based tracker might work. It's a very basic demo uh, because I don't have anything coordinated with it yet. Anyway, this is my uh, tracking accumulator. I've been testing with a, a water tracker for the last uh, month, I guess. Well, as weather permitted, which it doesn't permit today. It's horrible weather again. Anyway, um, the tracker focuses uh, light on uh, my container there and uh, cooks whatever's in it. Um, it currently tracks for about uh, I guess five hours with this uh, um, with this thing. So uh, as water um, leaves, uh, water empties the top bucket into the bottom and this raises the float in the bottom bucket, it lowers the float in the top bucket and the floats are attached to the reflector so as one raises one lowers the reflector moves around at uh, 15 degrees per hour. Anyway that's all done with a, a water clock which I have here which is um, uh, may not be accurate enough. Um, so another tracker I thought of is a clock based tracker. So this tracker here, what I've done is I've uh, taken out all the um, little mechanisms for turning the minute hand and the second hand of this clock. This is a clock even though it doesn't have, it's one of these funky new ones. It doesn't have the, um, the uh, hours on it. Anyway, so it's useless. But and to me anyway. Uh, what I've done is taken out the minute and the second hand and um, taken out the things that move them and just attached this top of a plastic uh, container to um, the, the thing that drives the hour hand. So here is uh, I've got streamline around it. So this this actually is like, uh, this is driven by the piece that drives the hour hand on a normal clock. And uh, here we go, this is the, uh, the result. This slowly moves down this, uh, uh, at whatever the, uh, you know, you can work out the speed from the diameter of, uh, of this. And uh, slowly moving down and uh, water is coming out the level of the water stays level with the top of the pipe. So after so many hours of going down exactly at the right speed, you'll have 12 hours later, oops, got to be a little careful, you'll be way down here. So this, as you can see, so this is good actually for, um, um, it's good for um, tracking for this bucket here will be good for maybe six or seven hours of tracking. So there we go, like it'll equalize in a few minutes and it'll be back to the same speed as it was before. And um, then this, uh, you just got to have the diameter of the circle on your, whatever you're doing, it can be this or it can be a lazy Susan for a, um, for a box cooker. So anything you like basically can track the sun. This is set up on an equatorial mount for pretty perfect tracking of the sun. And uh, with a box cooker it would be um, set up just, uh, it'll be close enough because it doesn't need to be very, very accurate tracking uh, the sun for a box cooker. But the simplicity of this, you know, with the clock and um, the, the tracking, like it's, uh, it's actually something that I think um, you know poor countries will um, might be able to use. And uh, this clock has got a I guess a stepper motor, so it's got a tiny little um, battery in there, and the battery drives a, um, a stepper motor that moves around every second or half second or something like that. So very simple technology and this will provide you with your tracking of the sun without having to get a photovoltaic blah blah or whatever 
you know, this is, you know, several orders of magnitude simpler technology-wise than um, what um, what the um, photovoltaics uh, entail. And this is the type of thing I think uh, that's needed in um, poor countries to, to track. Like, this is fairly fairly decent size. Um, it's a, uh, what is it, one square meter um, dish. And um, you could have larger than that too.